Summer is ending. The storks crossed over Damascus, migrating south from Europe to Africa. In a few months, Syrians will face the war's third winter. And the talk at the early morning tea counters, if the Americans attack, how will the course of the war change? In this city and in the outer suburbs, getting their daily shelling after dawn are fierce opponents of the regime. There's a broad middle ground of others who just want to survive. And there are supporters of President Assad who say they'd die for him. Mez 86 is a district of Damascus staunchly behind the Assads. Most of the people here are Alawites from the same sect as the president. He survived the last two and a half years because he has men prepared to fight and die for him. Memorials to dead soldiers are on every street. Yahya was out shopping with his uncle. The boy's father was killed when he was three months old. I know many, many families who've lost people, he said, including lots of friends of my brother. The dead man, Fadi, was with Air Force Intelligence, much feared by the regime's opponents. Uniforms are everywhere in Meza 86. The security forces are the main employer. The tailor said that in the last two weeks he's had more customers than ever. That means many new recruits. Perhaps because so many men in this part of Damascus carry guns for the regime in the army or the various security agencies, it feels more tense here than elsewhere in the city. But as momentum towards military action builds in Washington, that tension will transfer itself to the rest of the city. In Meza 86, many young men were local vigilantes. They've been reorganized into a more official formation called National Defense. This man, Basil, said they were expecting armed rebels to attack under cover of any American bombing. He said they were ready. These people say they're ready to be human shields. They're camping on the mountain above Damascus, full of military positions that could be an American target. Posters in English show that with days to go until the vote in the US Congress, this is mostly about transmitting defiance to the outside world. We want a war, and uh, Iran, Russia, uh, Hezbollah, all of them are with us, and we will win. They sang the national anthem. In more than two years, neither the regime nor any of the divided, sometimes warring rebel factions have won a decisive advantage. The Americans have the weight to change that, if they care to use it. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Damascus.